Hi guys, we're back on Hyperland. This time we're on a different machine. It's not using Nvidia, it's using Intel. And Hyperland is, is great um, on Intel. And well, it's a little bit more tricky if you have older Nvidia cards. Topic of the video, somebody um, I wanted to see and know what the settings are for OBS Studio on Hyperland. So one of the things I do after installation of OBS Studio is go in here, which is Control Alt U, Pavu Control, and tell them what are my input devices with the microphone. It's normally set at 140. In this system, it seems to be better to go for 100. So depending on your hardware, do a few tests, listen if, um, if it's okay for you. HDMI is my output, not my microphone, right? So it always selects this one as default. There is no sound coming from the microphone, right? I don't know why it does that. Anyway, that's that. Control T, so the pseudo Pacman minus S. So you know the name, OBS dash, OBS dash is enough. And then he knows, oh, you're talking about OBS Studio. If we install that and we run that, what are the settings that we need to do? So we're recording screen one, I have two screens screen one and that's why the mouse is doing a little bit tricky things here i've put the slide of the microphone the audio input a little bit down normally it's somewhere up here so i didn't like the sound very much um but how do we get this well by adding something right it audio input capture is the sound and screen capture is screen one of two screens and all the rest is just playing uh, images or the video the webcam stuff like that so you can have scenes and groups and you can really make a little movie out of it by using scenes and hiding stuff right just an eye like in the layers in Photoshop same thing now settings is a few things that I always tend to forget which are the things that are very important you shouldn't forget None of those here. Stream, sometimes interesting to stream immediately to YouTube. So that's an interesting fact. It's already on YouTube. Add clicks, have a look. Just type in OBS Studio. You'll get all the videos I've already made because this is not new. The only thing that's new is this is a new Hyperland ISO that's coming out in a few days. And voila, that's the newest thing uh, there is. So what we should not forget is the video thing. This is often scaled down to 1280 or something by something like that. So I don't want it to be scaled. I want my videos to be full HD. So this one, the second line should be with a drop down. You should select it and say, no, keep off, keep away, right? And all the rest I really don't touch. No, so those are my settings. It's interesting to know that you can hide stuff. If you're on one screen, you hide it and then you start it and then everything is immediately, uh, well, in the desktop you have the recording. You don't see all of this because that's not nice. And then you immediately say the same thing here, stop recording in this case here, stop recording. So I hope that helps. This is much better than the, the other one that we're used to have at the WF screen record thingy which is nice, but it's a little bit pixelated. And yeah, then we rely again on OBS Studio. All right, cheers.